Okay, this is cool. We got some questions, so I can start answering questions. I think this is the cool thing about doing these daily videos, is we're going to be able to actually answer questions. Now, the difference between teaching and mentoring is that when you teach, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, um, I'm seeing a problem out there. Um, and it's, and I think it's going to be very pervasive and I think it's going to be very dangerous. What I'm seeing with most students is it's like, hey, yo, I read the chapter. I took the test. I got a grade. I'm successful. It doesn't work that way. And I'll be discussing this to my students today at the school. Man, you've got to get in there and really study and really search and really, you know, kind of immerse yourself. Then you have questions and then you can ask the questions. So if you text over the questions on the video, I'll do my best to answer them. Now, what's the difference between that and what we do at our school? At our school, we're all about mentoring and mentoring is when you mentor a student, you actually put them ahead of yourself. The whole idea of parenting is that you put your children ahead of yourself. They're more important than you are. And that's kind of what mentoring is like when you have a student. You actually lay awake at night, you know, at three in the morning thinking, how do I get this student to the next level? And then, of course, to get them successful. So that's the key. So the question was, could I take a rendering and show the wave? So let's get some terminology going. And they said, I know it has to deal with... Um, you know, cross contours. This is a, this is a shape. This is a form. This is a thing. Now, to, for this is a shape first. Then if I draw over it and cross contour, it becomes a form. If I put a light on it and it has a light side and a shadow side, now it becomes a lit form. To render it is just the way, it's the mechanism of making the form, of, of lighting the form or drawing the form. So we could say rendering could be done with line, it could be done with tone, it could be done with dirt, it could be done with chocolate. It's just a way of getting, communicating the information. The wave is how we get from one form to the next. So, and then what I'm going to do is on the next, so this right here is a, is a sketch. This is an oil sketch. It's not a totally finished painting. But if you're going to notice, it has a highlight, halftone, core, reflected light. So we go, you know, like here, there's a light, core, reflected light. You see, light, core, reflected light, cast shadow. Light, core, reflected light, cast shadow. Each one of these is an individual form. What I find is that a lot of the students will get in there and they'll render each little part of it alone and it becomes these little segmented places. What the wave does, if you notice the way the wave brings you around, is how it attaches it together. See, so here is the rhythm chart for Riley, which is here. And then here's the other rhythm chart here. So you see how this goes right here. There's the phantom. And then there's the Abiculorus Oris rhythm chart, you see. And you'll see that the, the Riley rhythm chart will actually work as a wave also. So let, let me try to demo this for you. Um, and I'll try to show you how this works. So if I have a sphere... Okay, that's a shape. If I draw around the sphere, that's a form. Okay, so now it becomes solid. Now, on the inside of that, if I want to put in a core and I want to transition from here to here, I can do a wave. See, like that. So it's a core but it actually waves and says, this is Sheldon and this is a Frappuccino, get him there. And these become individual arrows that guide the eye. So it's actually a core shadow and it has reflected light. 
and it has a cast shadow. Now, if I want that cast shadow to, let's say, guide me over here, I can use a wave to do with that. See, and that would calcite cool and have wave with a hard edge, and that'll work like that. See, if I have this, and let's say I have a cylinder, or let's just, maybe we'll do a box shape here. So if you're motivated, you could actually, from these videos, work into a career, and that's the goal. I think art school has become insanely expensive, just like a lot of colleges. And I'm seeing it, you know, with parents, like, they're like, this, they can't afford it. And uh, they're, they're going into debt. It's become an industry. And I've spent 30 years in the college classroom. I'm not against college at all, of course, but let's get something out of it so that when you get out of school, you can start working. And that's where I'm hoping we go. At our school, it's very vocational because I can't offer a degree. So I have to offer, gotta offer something. You know, you gotta offer them physical stuff. Um, Vilpu, I think, or one of my teachers, I think it was Vilpu said, a student must leave with something tangible every day. So they must leave with something that they say, I got this every day. Um, so here's, this is reflected light. You could actually use the wave here, see? You know, like that, I see this a lot in master paintings. So they're chiaroscuro paintings, but on the inside, you're utilizing you know, these these waves. So if like this is a, a half tone here, you know, you can go like that. See, and then just kind of fill it in. It's pretty fun, okay? So you can go like that. If you're doing a cylinder like this, right? Um, you can come in and go like this so this would be the cool, like the Cal State cool, like that, all on the inside. And this is Riley. You see this a lot with Riley. Because Riley is very illustration-based. So you'll have like this very sweeping arm like that. And then what Fred would do is on the inside, he would put in what Vilpu would do on the outside. Do they both work? Absolutely. <laughs> they absolutely work. So this goes this way. And then this goes like that, and then you can go like that, and you can wave across. So let's try to make this an absolute, an absolute answer. And the absolute answer is that the wave is what transitions you from one form to the next, okay? So hopefully that helps. I'm gonna do another video right now. We're gonna dedicate this to a gentleman named Ted and uh, he's amazing, and he was, a, he was a student of mine, and he lives in a place called New York, which is actually on the map, because it's LA, New York, and everything in the middle, as we know, is Kansas, and when am I gonna get rid of these stupid jokes? I don't know. Um, but he asked me if I would do a demo of, you know, like, a, a drapery, and, you know, a person wearing a costume, and this would be perfect for that. So let's see how long this took. Wow, nine minutes. We are right on. Okay, so let me do that. I'm going to turn the page and I'm going to do a fun costume type um, drawing, which will show the way. Okay, let's do it.